everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm very grateful that you're here. I have a lot of fun things to go over. So before we get started, just two quick things. If you could subscribe to my channel, it's free to subscribe. Um, and if you could hit the thumbs up button. I'm trying really hard to grow this channel and those are two things that uh, YouTube really pays attention to. The other thing I wanted to tell you real quick before we dive in is I will be putting up a little graphic that will tell you which segment of the video is which. So if you're really interested in, say, fragrance, but not the body care, you can easily find it and skip ahead. So with that, let's dive right in. Let's start with makeup. My favorite makeup that I've been loving during the month of May is the, the new Marc Jacobs line. The Fantasine palette, which, look at these colors. I love these colors. So I love the colors, I love the payout, I love how compact and travel friendly it is, um, and I love, the, I love the look. The bronzer, I have, a, I have a thing for bronzers. I have too many bronzers. I mean, I have too many of a lot of beauty products, but bronzers are one thing that I can't possibly use enough. Um, I've kind of shied away a little bit from contouring as much, I kind of feel like we're going into a new wave of makeup and bronzers are my jam. And this one from Marc Jacobs is gorgeous. Uh, another one from Marc Jacobs are these dew drops. Th these are the fantasy dew drops. I have the other one too. I think they're called Do You. But I'm using these right now. If you like a dewy kind of glowy look, which I love, but uh, I basically want to look like I just walked out of a pool. I want a very dewy, I have very dry skin, and I just feel like dry mature skin lends itself to a dewier, youthful look. And so that's kind of what uh, I, I aim for with my makeup. Having said that, this Artless Glow Base Primer, plus it has an SPF in it of 50 plus 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 by Hamish. I got this on Amazon. It's a great primer. I love that it has a sunscreen in it and I love the price point. Uh, it works great with my sensitive skin and it offers uh, like a, a dewy youthful look and I adore that. I am really digging the Josie Marin. I don't know if, you, if, if I'm saying it right, if it's Josie Moran or Josie Marin, but I'm really, really digging this line. Um, I have a couple of different things here from this brand, and I think I bought three of these so I could have one everywhere, but it's the, it's some kind of limp, lip, lip plumper, uh, I don't find that it pumps my lips necessarily, but I absolutely love this color. But it's just gorgeous. It's what I have on now, so it's a really nice, a wearable, work-friendly uh, color. So, next. Let's start with cleansers. Um, my, f my fav in the month of May, actually since I think since January maybe, maybe even December, but I've been using this almost, um, I've been using it several times a week anyway, but it's the All Clean Balm. And you might have seen me mention this in a previous video, but what a, a cleansing balm is, it's a, a more of a buttery, oily texture that helps remove dirt and grime and makeup and sunscreen and all that stuff. And then you go in with a second cleanse, either a gel cleanser or a very mild or hydrating foam cleanser. But right now, this is my all time, so far, this is my favorite um, cleansing balm and I highly recommend it. It's by Hamish and I'll link it down below. Okay, so, Speaking of exfoliation, most of you know that I lean more towards chemical exfoliants. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of physical exfoliants. I just think not only do chemical exfoliants work better, but they're so much better for your skin. Having said that, every now and then, I think it's okay to use a physical exfoliant. And the one that I like right now is, and I use it um, probably once a month. And this, it, this one is by Kate Somerville. It's the Exfolicate. It's very gentle. When you apply it, apply it with slow motions. It's not a race to the finish. Especially when you're using a physical exfoliant, try to be gentle and I avoid the eye area. 
So if you have to use the physical exfoliant, this is the one I want you to use. Okay, next, speaking of exfoliants, this is the Alpha Hydroxy Acid Face Cream. This is a disclosure. This is another Dirty Goat product. I use this probably three times a week at night um, as the last step. I like that this particular product has the chemical exfoliant uh, in the moisturizer. So if I'm tr if I'm doing a, a really kind of simplified routine at night and I'm not using my prescription retinoid, I will use this um, AHA face cream. Now, uh, if you if you bought this at the last here, I'll show you. So even oily skin types can use this, but again, um, the last step in your routine at night would be the best time to use it. That way it doesn't feel super heavy. Your skin will absorb it um, overnight. Anyway, um, it has no fragrance, so there's no nothing irritating. And it's a 12% lactic, 5% glycolic. And uh, it's a chemical it's exfoliant so it, uh, what a chemical if you don't already know uh, what a chemical exfoliant is it's just a really mild way to kind of eat up those dead skin cells on the surface of your skin to reveal a uh, fresh new bright um, baby skin but just keep in mind Anytime you use any kind of exfoliant, whether it's a chemical, especially if it's a chemical, whether it's a chemical or physical, you, you need to be wearing your sunscreen anyway all the time. But you need to be uh, diligent about using it when you're using a product like this. And there is a warning on here as a reminder and on the listing. Okay, so let's move on. Speaking of acids, uh, I, for the most part, I kind of shy away a little bit from glycolic acids. I, I have a couple products that I love that are glycolics. Like that AHA face cream does have a glycolic in it. But glycolic is not my my all-time favorite acid. My all-time favorite acids are lactic and mandelic. And this one, this mandelic 5% skin prep water by Wish Trend, I love it. It's fantastic for all skin types, remove dead skin cells excuse me, smooths dull rough skin. So got it on Amazon, make sure you buy it from Wish Trend. No fragrance, no drying alcohols. Hopefully this is focusing and uh, I'm loving this. It may not look like I've used much, but I've used quite a bit and it's still pretty full. Great price, I'll link it below. Okay, so let's jump into body care. Now, I do wanna give a disclosure before I start mentioning any Dirty Goat products. Um, for those of you who are not here from uh, my Facebook or Instagram, if you don't know what I do, I own a, a small skincare company called The Dirty Goat, and I'll link it in my description, but I just wanna say full disclosure, a couple of these products are Dirty Goat products. Um, some people might think that's a conflict of interest, but some of these are my favorite May products, so I'm going to mention them. Uh, the first one is is the Solid Shimmer Stick, and I got this. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick it up, but this is before I've rubbed it in. So I don't know if you can see that shimmer. Let's see. I'm hoping that you can see some of the reflex. In real life, it gives a beautiful, subtle, summer shimmer. And so it goes on a little bronzy and I just kind of rub it in. And I, I made this because I was inspired by the Rihanna Body Glow line. And I thought, hey, I can make that. And so I did, except, um, or, except the difference is I just made it in a solid form so that you can toss it in your beach bag and go. Um, I'll link it below so you can at least read about it, even though there may not be any left. But if there is uh, a great enough demand, I will definitely bring this back. Okay, another product that is similar that I love is the Josie Marin. I told y'all I've been loving this line. But anyway, this Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil Ultra Hydrating Body Butter. But it's got this gorgeous brown shimmery tint and it, it just looks beautiful on the skin. If I were going to compare this to my sh summer, sh 
summer shimmer stick. I would say that this is more sparkly than this. Personally, I use them both together because I want to glow. Okay, speaking of that spring summer glow, I don't know about you, but I have never ever had good luck with sunless tanners. I don't like that. It leaves my hands really orange. Even if I use the mitt, you, you all know the one. I use the mitt. The mitt was trifling. I'm not down with the mitt. It was a mess. But I found this and I'm so excited. Anyway, I was looking for an in shower moisturizer and that's when I found this. And I think it's seven dollars on amazon it's the jergens natural glow wet skin moisturizer okay so i this one's medium to tan i initially got the light to medium but i found that i had to use so much more of it i'm a pretty pasty girl but i felt like um i had to use less if I use this medium to tan. And what I did in the beginning was, um, when I first got the second one, I mixed the two, but then after a while, I just went hard, and I'm on the medium to tan now. I sound like I'm a um, sunless tanner addict, but now I'm up to the medium tan, um, and I feel like this is my favorite. Okay, continuing with body care. Also, uh, side note, I'm well aware of the sniffling. Um, I have severe allergies, and I will talk about my favorite allergy medicine, but it's really, really bad here. The, it, the, the um, allergens are, like, I feel like nature's trying to kill me right now. It's that bad. So I know how annoying the sniffling is, and I honestly, I didn't know how bad I sniffled um, until I had to edit my first YouTube video, and I thought, dear Lord, all I'm doing is sniffing. It's... It, it's, it was obnoxious. So uh, I do my best. I take two different kinds of allergy medicine. If you have some kind of miracle aller allergy medicine, let me know. I'm basically allergic to my cats, dust, pollen, grass, you name it, uh, I'm allergic to it. So if you have a, a miracle drug, please let me know. But again, I'm sorry for all the sniffling. Okay, so let's get back into everything. Um, my current all-time favorite Dirty Goat product, as of right now, is the spray deodorant. It was released in the summer gift set um, in a small little plastic bottle. Um, and that's the first time that it has been uh, released to my customers. Uh, I will say that it, it has replaced my other deodorant, the stick deodorant, for now anyway. Um, every now and then I'll switch back and forth. I like to switch it up. But for the most part, this deodorant has been my go-to. I do about three or four spritzes in the morning and then I'm good for the rest of the day. Keep in mind, I don't have a super active lifestyle. I work from home, so you may need to reapply it later. Everyone's body chemistry is different, but uh, I'm absolutely in love with this product and it will be released in June. Will this keep you dry? No, it won't. You'll still sweat um, as much as you always have. If you want a product that's going to stop you from sweating, you're going to have to buy commercial deodorant, which is fine if that's what you want. But most, I've never, I personally have never seen a, a homemade or handmade deodorant that is also an antiperspirant. What, what this will do is combat the bacteria, which is what makes you stink. Okay, so let's keep it moving. Next up is one of my one of my favorite Dirty Goat products. I don't know why I'm shaking it. I'm not getting ready to use it, but it says shake well before you choose, so I'm gonna shake it up. But anyway, um, it is a shower oil. Now, let me let me preface this shower oil um, by showing you the inspiration for this for this product which is this one was from the office restock i did a theme based around the office and this one's called that's what she said um anyway so it's a shower oil but the cool thing about this is it's not just a moisturizer but it has uh cleansing properties in it too and let me show you the inspiration for that product um it is this creme de corps which oh creme de corps from keels if you've smelled anything from the creme de corps line you know that it is the butteriest most delicious smelling stuff in the entire world oh my gosh it's so good um if you can't try my shower oil I suggest trying this one from Kiehl's. 
You put a little bit in your hand. Mine you shake up because the soap, par the soap particles settle to the bottom. So mine, it's important that you shake up, shake it really, really well, and then you just squeeze a little bit in your hand and then you just lather up and use it as you would any other soap. I don't suggest putting it on a washcloth or a loofah or a sponge or anything. The camera might be shaking because my cats are, are having World War III down here. Okay, so we're almost done. We're wrapping it up. I know this is super long. Let's get into fragrance. And I'm gonna go through these pretty quickly because I'm not good at describing scents, let alone describing scents on camera. But uh, let's start with these, the Jo Malone. The Jo Malone shower oil, which is unlike the Kiehl's and the Dirty Goat one, the Jo Malone is just a shop bath and body oil, which is fine, but um, there's no cleansing properties in this. I use this towards the end of the bath or the end of the shower. It's in peony and blush and suede and it's a bath oil. Um, I started with the bath oil and then I was just like, oh my God, I have to have this scent in my life other than this bath oil. And then that's when I picked up this. This runs, let's see, I don't, I don't know how much. It's one ounce, $65, a little pricey. I've used it quite a few times, but um, a little bit goes a long way. Again, it's a Jo Malone of London peony blush and suede cologne this is going to be my signature scent for the summer. I love that it's a floral. I love when typical feminine scents like floral or even some kind of um, uh, some kind of citrus scents. I like when they are toned down with things like tonka or musk or like this one's the suede. I like when there's that masculine element dovetailing with the feminine um, notes and so I find that this is a perfect example of that the other one is you may have seen me mention this on Instagram by the way if you're not following me on Instagram life and times of Erica Clark uh, I post uh, my daily skincare uh, funny memes and all kinds of fun stuff um, healthy meal options so find me on Instagram anyway this uh, by the nest by the way this packaging is is this packaging not come on look at that is that not stunning it's matte and, and I'm a sucker for anything matte. And anyway, I remember uh, I when I was in Sephora one time, uh, I was standing in line. You know how that they have that little like devil aisle there with all those things that are trying to tempt you. Um, and I picked up a roller ball or a roll, roller and I smelled it and it was this indigo. And I was hooked from that moment on. I honestly... <sighs> And the scent notes will be listed in the description of the, like when when you go to the link, obviously they're gonna have a description, but if I had to describe it, <sighs> some kind of woody, like forest, but not real like, not overly hippie, you know what I mean? Not so like dirt smelling, but I would say exotic florals, with some kind of greenery in there. And again, I'm just shooting from the hip here. I don't remember what the description says. If I'm way off, I'm super sorry. Like I said, I'm actually not the best at describing scents. But this is a home run for me. Okay, some of my May favorites, um, still in keeping with the, uh, with the fragrance theme, um, are some of my favorite wax melts and if you know me at all you know that I melt a lot of wax and so all of the vendors that I'm going to show you um, have wax available in bags so if you're like me and you're kind of trying to move away from the clamshells um, these w might be great options for you and again I love Walmart wax but for the most part uh, I stick to indie vendors and here are some of my favorites. First up is the cream cheese and cream cheese cookie monster by Vintage Chic. Okay, so right now I'm melting Cream Cheese Cookie Monster by Vintage Chic, and uh, I just chopped this one uh, a little while ago, but I'm also loving uh, 15 Minutes of Fame and Holly Go Lightly. Uh, I don't like a lot of cereal scents because I kind of got burned out on them, but there are a couple that I just love, and I still am not tired of 15 Minutes of Fame or um, Holly Go Lightly from Vintage Chic. So if you like uh, cereal or bakery, you'll love this too. The cream cheese cookie monster is also, obviously cream cheese is also a bakery scent. Okay. 
Another one that I've been loving, and um, this is my this is my third bag. Uh, it's Lucky Lemons by Super Tarts. It is lemon curd mixed with our Lucky Charms, another cereal scent. I know I said I'm not into cereal scents, but these are really good cereal scents. Okay, uh, Lucky Charms uh, and Magically Delicious. So a house blend of Magically Delicious. I guess that's what HB stands for. But anyway, so it's by Super Tarts. Again, this is their band bags. They're a little hard to get, but if you're in their Facebook group, um, or if you know someone that's in their Facebook group that will give you a heads up when they do band bags. Um, they do sell stuff in clamshells, but like I said, I'm really down with the bag. That I'm, I am all about the bag. So that is Super Tarts. Okay, another one is, um, Oh, it's this one by Candy Panda. Oh my gosh. But it smells kind of, and, and they have a master scent list in their Facebook group. Uh, Candy Panda is another indie vendor. Um, and let me tell you what I love about this wax. Oh, I love cutting this wax because you can see through the bag, it cuts perfectly. It's not too hard and it's not too soft. So it's not so hard that, um, that it crumbles and shatters into a million pieces when you cut it, which is super annoying. Um, no offense. But um, it's also not so soft that it's all gooey. And, you know, like um, some other brands may be kind of gooey. And um, I don't mind gooey. And if it's, a, if it's a fantastic formula, I will totally put up with it. But when I'm cutting wax, this is the consistency that I want. It just cuts just right. Anyway, so I love that. I love the fragrance. And I love that it's coming in bags in these little uh, wax cakes. And um, anyway, get away, get you some. It's fantastic. Okay, another one that I love, I'm all about those pineapple pineapple scents, is by Rose Girls. Um, I think she, I think her site is open right now, so um, you should get on that. I'll link her site below. But anyway, it's Rose Girls Wax Melts, and this is Pineapple Pudding Cake Nilla Noel. And basically, it's the bomb, bomb.com, I'm telling you. I don't know why I'm sniffing here on camera, but it's basically pineapple and bakery, and I, and I love it. Uh, I love the performance. I love the, and here's another thing that I love. Actually, I love about most of these vendors. I like, excuse me, I like when there's not a lot of chunks of candy sprinkles and glitter. I'm not throwing shade on any wax vendor who uses candy sprinkles and glitter. In fact, some of the ones I use, I love so much that despite the fact that they put that in there, I still use them because the formulas are that good and the throw is that strong. Um, however, having said that, if I had my way, I would not have to clean that junk out of my warmer. It makes my warmer look gross and that stuff just like melts. And so anyway, one of my favorite things that I look for in a vendor, in a wax vendor, an indie wax vendor is not a bunch of uh, stuff in the wax like color is fine um, designs are fine but um, I don't want to be scraping burnt candy sprinkles um, out of my wax warmer by the way all of these wax vendors have uh, Facebook groups and I'm sure they would love it if you would pop in if you do stop by tell them I sent you um, so they know that I'm bragging on them so my uh, fellow indie business owners know that um, I'm giving them shout outs and that I love them. I love them and their products, you know? So um, here's another one. Speaking about loving them and loving their products, um, and this is a, a kind of a new brand on the scene. These other, the other ones, they've been around for a while and they're tried and true, but I took a chance on Empire Alchemy uh, and I love them. Uh, I love the, I love the aesthetic. I know I'm getting so sick of that word, but if you know another word besides aesthetic, let me know, put it down in the comments so we can start using that. I'm done with aesthetic. But um, I love this, this is donuts with Tiffany, uh, toffee, creamy cupcakes, vanilla crumb donuts, yum. So anyway, I, I'm loving this brand. I also love how easy it is to cut. This is another good one that it's really easy to cut. But um, she's on Instagram. I think she has a Facebook group. Check them out. Anyway, they're great. Um, I bought from them se several times. I've always been very happy um, with every, I, let me just say this, well, let me just mention this last one here. Um, this little bluebird, blueberry compote, cheesecake, vanilla crumb donut. Can you tell I like the bakery scents? Anyway, this is another one. It's called Little Bluebird. 
and it's by Empire Alchemy. Alchemy. But so uh, look them up on Instagram and get in their Facebook group. Okay, so let me just say one thing. Um, I know that the the performance of a wax depends on a lot of things, right? So it depends on the airflow of your room. It dep depends on your warmer. It depends on how much wax you use. It depends on the formula of the wax of that vendor. It depends on how much fragrance they used. And it also depends, and this is super important, on the type of fragrance that it is. Some bakery scents, like cotton candy is notorious for being not that strong of a fragrance. And so my heart kind of goes out to some vendors when I see people say, well, it, something didn't perform well. And I think, you know, they may have used the maximum, they may have used the best fragrance oils available to them. And they may have used the maximum amount that they can use before the wax breaks down. And it's still just a light fragrance. So um, if that's something that bothers you, then, you know, maybe you want to, um, lean more towards things like fresh scents or woodsy scents. Um, I find that those tend to be stronger and longer lasting than bakery and sometimes fruity. And that's not just with any one vendor. It's, I think it's across the board. Like just in general, fresh clean scents and uh, woodsy type scents, earthy type scents tend to have a better performance or perfume, perfumey type scents, you know, like scent, uh, duplicates or um, knockoffs of popular fragrances. Those tend to be a little bit stronger than things like food type scents. So try to keep that in mind um, and hopefully uh, don't judge a vendor just based on that. Okay, so, so enough about home fragrance. We are... We are hitting the home stretch. Okay, so I just have th four more things. Okay, so the last four things are super duper random. But I don't smoke, but I drink coffee every single day and tea every single day, all day long. I drink tea all day long. And so uh, over the years, my teeth have, got, have been stained by that. So I went to a dentist and had my teeth whitened probably it was over a year ago it was over a year ago and it ran me about three hundred fifty dollars and they had to make the um they had to make the trays and then i had to go back in and then i had to buy the gel that you put in the trays and the gel wasn't too much it was like 25 30 dollars for like a five pack or something like that i don't remember the bottom line is did it work? It worked okay. Would anybody have thought that my teeth were super brown or super yellow uh, if I would have only used that? No, no one would have thought that. But they weren't as white as I wanted them. They weren't. They didn't look as good as I thought they should look. Okay, so fast forward. I got these. They're the Crest 3D white strips, no slip. But make sure if you decide to get these, make sure one, you get them on Amazon because they were $29.99 with Amazon Prime PS um, versus at Walmart. I saw them for $39.99. I was like $10 more at Walmart. What the heck? So make sure you get them on Amazon or somewhere cheaper or better or wherever. But um, just make sure you get the one hour express. But what I have found with this is and I do typically have sensitive teeth. Um, I don't really experience the next day or that night I might experience a little sensitivity but it's nothing unbearable it's nothing that causes me to change my behavior I still have hot coffee and I still have iced tea and I get along just fine but what I have noticed is none of them compare to the one hour express the other thing I like about the one hour express is you don't have to use it as often like the others you have to use every day for like a week or 30 days, I don't know, for like a half hour. This, I use, I could probably get away with using like one every two months or even less often than that. And so I kind of like that. I like that I don't have to use it as often. You leave it on one hour and you're good to go. And I'm telling you, um, I'm not saying my teeth are the whitest, uh, but this is as good as it's gonna get. And I think it's, um, this is my home run product for teeth whitening, so highly recommend. Make sure it's the one hour express. Okay, three more products and then we're done. Okay, so this thing, I am loving this thing. So this is a brush stand, a makeup brush stand. And hold on, let me get a brush out and show you. 
So the cool thing about this is, I don't know, uh, maybe maybe you makeup lovers know this, but it's not, when, when you wash your brushes, and you should be washing your brushes, tell me y'all are washing your brushes, because if not, that's bacteria on your face, and bacteria equals acne, okay? So if you're like, hey, I'm breaking out, it might be your dirty brushes or dirty pillowcase. I've often found that. Um, if your pillowcase gets grimy and you notice that you're getting acne all along the side of your face, sometimes um, that can be caused by other things, but um, wash your pillowcase often. Anyway, wash your brushes often too. However, so having said that, you know that, most people know that you're not supposed to let, when you wash your brushes, you're not supposed to stand them up because the water goes down into the ferrule, I believe that's what this is called, the ferrule, and it will start to loosen the glue and it will ruin your brushes. So the cool thing about this stand, by the way, I, and I'll link it below, it, uh, I got it on Amazon. The cool thing about this stand, let me set this down. It comes with this really awesome mat. And together, I think this kit was, not the brushes, but the stand and the mat was $15. Like, hello, that's a great deal. And then, how awesome is this? Look at this. And then I put it in this, okay, so this is really hard to do because, okay, there we go. Oh, Lord, help me. Okay. Okay. So anyway, so yeah, you just dry your brushes upside down like that. And it's got all different kinds of sizes. And this little thing, this is why I couldn't let it go. This little thing, um, it comes all packaged flat and then you just assemble it. And the what, one thing that I like about it is, um, you can store it all flat so it doesn't take up a bunch of space. But anyway, brush holder for clean brushes. It's amazing, super duper cheap, and will help extend the life of your brushes. Okay, so we're done with that. Last, uh, two, two more things. I mentioned this briefly earlier in the video. I'm not gonna talk much about it. It helps with my allergies. Is it a miracle drug? No, but it helps a lot. I use this and an over-the-counter antihistamine, like a non-drowsy formula antihistamine. I think it might be Lordadine. I don't remember. It's the generic version. This Flonase Allergy Relief, two spritzes on the inside of my nostril in the morning, um, and it just, it helps. It helps a ton. I notice a huge difference when I don't use it. But anyway, you can get it at any box chain store. Y'all have probably heard about it, but it is May, it is spring, nature is trying to kill me. If nature's trying to kill you too, try Flonase. Okay, last thing, and then I'm gonna be done. I know this video was super long, but um, believe it or not, I, I actually had a lot more products than this, and I was like, girl, you have to tone it down. This will go on for three days, and um, nobody wants to hear me talk that long. Okay, so last thing. What I started doing was, I mean, I used to do this on little scraps of paper, but I found that p compiling it in a little journal uh, encourages me to do it more often. So every morning I get up and, and I'm, I won't go into great detail, but anyway, it's this little journal. I got it on Amazon and this little cute little wrap that goes around. And what I use it for is every morning I write a few things that I'm grateful for and I set my intention for the day. Um, I'm not going to go into detail about what setting your intention for the day is, uh, but it is part of my philosophy on life and if that's something that you would like me to do a video on, um, ways to express gratitude, ways to show gratitude, um, ways to set your intention, ideas, tips and tricks, if that's something that you think you might want to see a video on, please comment below and let me know. And if nobody says anything, then I'll know not to waste my time. So then that's no problem. But um, but anyway, like I said, every morning I've been writing my, I set my intention for the day. And sometimes I'll even put my daily mantra in here. Let me know if you want me to talk about that in the video. Um, my daily mantra and um, some things that I'm gr uh, grateful for. So anyway, uh, like I said, super cute. It's on Amazon. Um, 20 bucks, I think. You can buy a journal anywhere. You don't have to buy that one, but I will link it below. And uh, I hope you have a fantastic weekend because today is Thursday for me. I hope you f have a wonderful weekend. And again, if you could s hit subscribe and give this channel a thumbs up, that would be really great because that's what YouTube pays attention to. That's what they see as a successful channel. Um, and it would mean a lot to me because I really am trying to grow this into something kind of bigger. So anyway, uh, I hope some of this stuff helps. 
and I hope you guys, oh, last thing, I almost forgot, last thing, um, the June playlist on Spotify, if you're not on Spotify, why aren't you on Spotify, Spotify is great, it's free, so there's no commitment, I do subscribe, I think it's $10 a month, I make a playlist every single month, and you can come find me on Spotify, follow me there if you want, you don't have to, but I just released the new June playlist, which I did like my own little challenge. I did all covers. So there, the entire playlist is songs that uh, have been done by previous artists. So they, the songs on the playlist are all covers of the originals. And I think you're going to be surprised when you see, I was surprised um, at some of the songs that are covers uh, that I thought were the originals, and I'll give you, I'll, I'll give you one. Um, Girls Just Wanna Have Fun by Cyndi Lauper. Did anyone else know that that was a cover? It, it, it was done by someone else. I don't know, you'll have to Google it, but anyway, Girls Just Wanna Have Fun was not originally done by Cyndi Lauper. My mind was blown, and um, there are a few others like that on there uh, that may surprise you. So anyway, come find me on Spotify and see what I've been listening to. Okay, have a great day, you guys, bye.